Hey guys, before I start this video, I want to let you know that if you have us liked on iPod Uplink on Facebook and you want to be notified whenever we make some new post or you want to be updated if we give some more info on the iOS 6 untethered jailbreak, then just go over to our page, go to the liked button and hit get notifications and you'll be updated whenever we give you some new information about the jailbreak. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1 beta 2 today. Right here we have a, a freshly restored iPod Touch 4th generation on iOS 6.1 beta 2. Uh, the few things you're going to need to know about this jailbreak is that first of all, iOS 6.1 beta 2 is only available for developers. And once you download and install it, you can find a link down in the description that you can access if you are an Apple developer. Uh, you will not be needing the iOS 6.1 IPSW for the rest of this tutorial. Secondly, you are going to need the iOS 6.0 IPSW for your device. So here we have the iPod Touch 4th generation 6.0 firmware. And also, this is a tethered jailbreak for A4 or earlier devices. So that means this is going to work on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch 4G. It's going to be with uh, Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 3, and once again, download links for everything, including the 6.0 IPSW and Red Snow, are all down in the description. So we're going to go ahead and open up Red Snow, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is go into Extras and select IPSW, and find where you have the 6.0 IPSW saved, and just select that and hit Open, and it'll say it has been successfully identified. Then go back, go to Jailbreak, and it'll say Patching Kernel and then just leave the default selected, hit next, and then turn your device off. So you're gonna do that by holding the power button till this slider appears, and then you're just gonna slide it across and wait for your device to power off. Once you do that, you can de begin the process of putting it in DFU mode, which consists of holding the power button for three seconds, then holding the home and power button for 10 seconds. A few seconds after your screen will flash and go black. and then holding the home button for another 15 seconds. Um, a few seconds into this, it may just go into the next step, it really depends, and then it'll say exploiting with Lime Rain. Throughout this whole process, your device screen will flash and flicker a few times, that's to be expected, um, and eventually you'll get to a point where it'll say downloading jailbreak data, just like that, and then a bunch of white text will start scrolling across your device, just like that, and once it finishes that, then you'll get a pineapple walking across your screen and it'll say moving applications. That usually takes a few minutes, so don't be alarmed if it's taking a while and doesn't look like it's doing anything. Just wait for it to complete. Um, once our device completes that, then we're going to come back and I'll show you how to do the next step, uh, which is going to be booting it tethered, so you're going to hit back and then... Uh, begin the process of booting it tethered, which because this is a tethered jailbreak, you're going to have to do that each and every time you reboot your device. Um, but we're just going to cut back after we finish uh, the jailbreak process. Alright, so now our iPod has booted back up, but if you go ahead and open your iPod or iPhone and try to open Cydia, you'll notice that it won't boot and it'll crash. So to fix that, uh, we're going to have to boot tethered, but before we do that, go back to select IPSW and reselect uh, the 6.0 IPSW that you're using. Then we're going to go into just boot, and once again, we're going to turn off our device and hit slide the power off. And once it shuts down, then you'll be able to go into the next step of putting it into DFU mode. So once again, let's hold the power button for three seconds, hold the power and home button for 10 seconds or a few seconds after your screen flashes and goes blank, and then release the power button and keep holding the home button for 15 seconds. And then it'll go on to the next step. So just wait for it to complete this. It's basically like half a jailbreak. It'll just go through a couple progress bars. You don't need to worry about any of the options down here. They're not going to affect your jailbreak whatsoever. Um, and then once it says waiting for reboot, uh, your device will start booting up and you should get a pineapple on the screen just like that and it'll say done. So once you've done that, then your device will boot up and Cydia will be usable. So it's basically a really simple process and that's all you need to do to jailbreak 6.1. Hopefully we'll be seeing the public release of, of 6.1 in the coming weeks, but that's all we have for now. Remember to check out the links and text instructions down in the description. 
down in the description. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.